Hello everyone. On this video, I will show you how to restore registry backup in Windows computers in order to fix blue screen of death or BSOD error, that can prevent you from booting normally. Restoring registry to previous registry store, will repair startup failure and many other issues if the backup was enabled in a computer operated with Windows 7, Windows Vista, Windows 8 or Windows 10. However, this property is no longer enabled by default in the new Windows versions, starting from Windows 10 version 1803. So, you have to check your Windows version and if the registry hives are present in the regback folder before trying to restore your registry. I will show you how to check regback folder and how to restore your registry, but before starting, don't forget to subscribe, activate the bell icon and like the video to encourage us publishing more useful videos. The video contents will be divided into 7 parts. How to boot into Windows recovery environment. How to determine the Windows partition. How to check Windows version and build number. How to check if there is a copy of registry backup or not. How to restore registry backup manually or using command prompt. How to enable the registry backup on Windows 10 using CMD. Important notes. First part, how to boot into Windows recovery environment. This is an important step because the registry restore won't be done without booting into recovery environment. In addition, restoring registry is commonly used to repair Windows computers that failed to boot into desktop. To boot into Windows recovery environment without installation media, do the followings. Turn off the computer completely. Turn it on again. When the Windows logo appears with a circle of dots, press and hold the power key for 8 seconds or until the device turns off completely. Repeat previous two steps until appearance of preparing automatic repair. The device is now in the Windows recovery environment. To open advanced restore options from Windows installation media such as DVD or USB, do the following. Turn off the computer completely. Connect the Windows installation media. Turn on the computer. Once you see the manufacturer logo, press the F12 or another key from keyboard to enter the boot options. This is the list of most common keys to enter the boot menu for different brands. Move to the DVD or the USB and then press the enter button. Once you see this message, press any key immediately to boot from installation media. There is a difference in location of symbols between US and UK keyboards. So, change keyboard language to your system language if you have a problem with location of symbols and letters. If not sure, see if you have a keyboard with symbols distributed like this, change keyboard language into US layout. And if you have another symbols distribution, then change the keyboard to UK layout. Click on the next button, then click on the repair your computer option. If you are unable to boot from Windows installation media, you may need to disable the secure boot from security tab and or enable USB boot from boot tab in BIOS settings. In some Asus BIOS or similar PCs such as Acer or HP laptops, you have to enable compatibility support mode or CSM, in order to disable secure boot. Second part, how to determine the Windows partition. Open command prompt or CMD, also you can open it by pressing the shift plus F10 keys from the keyboard. Type BCD edit and hit enter. Determine the Windows partition for most device entry under Windows bootloader. In my case, the Windows is in the D partition. If BCD edit failed to show you the BCD data, execute the following command before it. Bootrec slash rebuild BCD. If the BCD boot failed to show you the Windows partition, do the followings. Type notepad and hit enter. Click on file panel and select open option. Click on this PC icon, open all partitions one by one until you determine which one is the Windows partition. Windows partition will contain the Windows folder, and users folder. Inside the users folder you will see a folder with the name of your profile or account on the PC. Third part, how to check your Windows version and build number. As mentioned previously, registry backup will not help you unless you have a Windows version older than 1803. So it's important to know your Windows version in order to know if you can use registry backup method to fix startup issues or not. Open command prompt and execute bcd edit command to determine the Windows partition. Execute the following commands. cd slash dd colon backslash windows backslash system 32. Replace the D with the Windows partition in your computer. Type Winver and hit enter. As you can see, my Windows edition is 10, and the version number is 2004. This version of Windows didn't support registry backup. Let's see another example of Windows version. As you can see, the Windows is on the C partition in my second operating system. So, I will type C instead of D before the Windows path is followings. 
CD slash DC colon backslash Windows backslash System 32. To show Windows version, type Winver and hit Enter. As you can see, the Windows version number is 1511. This version of Windows supports registry backup, and it comes enabled by default. Fourth part, how to check if there is a copy of registry backup in regback folder or not. Execute bcd edit command to determine the Windows partition. Execute the following command to see the contents of the regback folder. dirc colon backslash windows backslash system32 backslash config backslash regback. Replace the C with the letter of your Windows partition. If you get 5 files inside the regback folder with a size for each file greater than 0, then you have a copy of your registry backup. If all Hive files have a size of 0 or if there is no any file inside regback folder, then you didn't have a copy of registry backup and you can't repair your boot by restoring registry backup. Fifth part, how to restore the registry backup using command prompt. To restore registry backup, we have to copy the Hive files from regback folder to config folder after renaming the corresponding Hive files in the config folder. But before doing that, there is important notes that you should know them first. Don't proceed to the next steps if there are no files inside the regback folder. Don't restore any Hive file from the regback folder if its size is zero and don't rename or delete that file in the config folder. Make a backup copy for all Hive files inside the config folder, so you can restore them if you get a new issue. Let's starting. Change directory in the CMD to config folder using this command. cd slash dc colon backslash windows backslash system32 backslash config. Replace the C with the letter of your Windows partition. Enter the following commands one by one to rename the registry hive files in the config folder. Ren system system old. Ren software software old. Ren security security old. Ren sam sam old. Renaming the current hive files in config folder will keep them from lose, so you can restore them by just deleting the new files then revert their names to previous names. Notice that we didn't rename the default file in config folder, because the default file in the regback folder has a size of zero. Execute the shown commands one by one to copy registry backup files from regback folder to config folder. Use up and down arrow keys from the keyboard to explore previous commands and modify or reuse them. Don't forget to replace the C with the letter of your Windows partition. Also notice that we didn't copy the default file to the config folder, because the default file in the regback folder has a size of zero. Let's confirm the changes in the config folder. Press the Shift plus F10 keys from the keyboard to open another CMD window. Navigate to the config folder. Change files of type option to all files. As you can see, the Hive files are there with the new names for each one. How to restore registry backup manually To restore the registry files manually, do the followings. Type notepad into the command prompt and hit enter. Click on file panel and select open option. Click on this PC icon to view all partitions. Open windows partition and navigate to this path. Windows backslash system32 backslash config. Change files of type option to all files. Open regback folder to confirm that you have a hive files with sizes not equal zero. In my case, I have a backup for only 4 registry files, which are the SAM, Security, Software, and System. Back to config folder and rename the files that have a backup in the reg back only. You will not see the new names until you refresh the folder. Now, open the reg back folder and copy the valid registry files to the config folder one by one. Close all opened windows. Click on continue option to exit recovery environment and continue to Windows 10. The first boot may take longer time. As you have seen, the windows booted to the desktop successfully. Let's confirm the changes in the config folder again. Sixth part, 
how to enable the registry backup using CMD. Type CMD into Cortana search box. Right click on command prompt and select run as administrator. Execute the shown command. This command and all used commands are available in the video description. Restart the operating system to apply changes. Seventh part, important notes. Always refer to the video description and to the comments to see if there is any new update or modification related to restoring the registry backup. There are other methods that you can use to fix boot problems if the registry backup was not enabled in your laptop. Refer to video description to see the links of others videos used to fix boot issues. If you have any question, don't hesitate to add it, and we will do our best to help you. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, leave a comment and subscribe.